guys, it's Gigi and today's video is going to be about editing Instagram photos and I get asked so much what are my favorite apps for editing my photos on Instagram and I'm pretty sure the reason you click this video is because you're obsessed with Instagram like me. Oh hey, do you want in on this video girl? She wants to play right now but this toy has a squeaker so no playing right now honey. Oh she thinks I threw it. We could still play. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch up the camera angle, which I don't know how I'm going to do it yet, but I'm going to do it. And I want to show you kind of like live tutorials of what I do when I do it so you guys can, it's not just me telling you, it's kind of like a visual tutorial, like I just said, of how to use every single app. I haven't seen one of these videos yet, so I really hope you guys enjoy because I know personally I'm the kind of person that whenever there's a group shot taken or whatever, when, when I'm out, I'm like, girl, we need to edit this photo. Look how dark it is. Look how gray it is. This photo has so much potential. We cannot just post it to Instagram. There are apps that are made for this so you can edit it so it's cuter. So yeah, let's just get started and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so this setup is extremely awkward so I hope I don't like veer the phone out of the frame at any time. So this is my phone. It's an iPhone 6 Plus. It's my background. This is when Bella was a newborn puppy. She's now a young woman. I swear my right boob was bigger than her. Oh, don't look. I put four of the apps that I use all the time. I used a few others, but I never really liked them, and these are the only four that I really stuck with, starting with Facetune. And I honestly didn't know about this app for the longest time, but it honestly is my favorite app to edit Instagram photos on because you can really turn a normal, plain Jane kind of photo and really turn it out and make it a really amazing, awesome image. So let's open a photo. This is a photo that I took on my digital camera. Absolutely no editing. I don't know if you guys can see that but you can see like the pores in my nose you can see everything wait I have hair on my nose no let's let's back up a little bit it's too close basically this is a very high def photo and what I like about Facetune is it doesn't take away the resolution because sometimes I find on apps you'll upload a high res image and then when you export it after editing it it's like lower quality. So right now I'm lucky and I don't have any pimples on my face that I couldn't cover with makeup and then be visible. So what I'm gonna do, just to show you an example, I have a little mole right here on my cheek and I wanna show you guys the patch tool, which is basically like you tap on what you wanna cover, so you take a portion around the area that's clear and you can cover it. So that's it before and that's it after. Before, after, before, after. I mean, I'm, I don't really care about the mole on my face. I think it's cute, so I'm gonna leave it. But if I had a huge pimple, and you know it's a cute picture, and sometimes one little pimple can ruin the entire photo, so that's why you have Facetune. Another thing you can use for your skin that I really, really, really love on this app is the Smooth Tool. You just drag along your skin where you wanna smooth, so I'm gonna smooth over my nose because you can see all of my pores, and it is not flattering. Basically, I like to lightly smooth anywhere there is skin skin showing so it's all kind of in unison and it's all very glowy and fresh and perfect so let me zoom up so you can really see so this is the before and that is the after before after before after before after obviously I'm doing it with a little bit heavier of a hand because I want to show you guys that there is a difference but it really gives you a nice airbrushed effect right in front of your eyes another thing I like to do is use the whitening tool and my teeth aren't shown in this photo but if your teeth aren't looking as white as you'd like them to you could basically just run this over kind of like you're brushing your teeth like back and forth back and forth and it'll make them whiter but what I like to do a lot of the time is make my highlight whiter so I'm gonna take it and go like this and you can really see how much that brightens up that area. Do you see that? And it basically just makes any tone in the photo that you drag it over whiter and brighter. So I'm gonna save that as well. And last but not least, you go to the details tool and you can highlight any features that you want to enhance. So I see a lot of the time on Instagram, girls that do their makeup will highlight their eyes. And I kind of picked up this trick myself. I think that it makes your eye makeup look so much better and crisper and you could do your lips as well. Maybe a little bit on the cheek, maybe a little bit on the hair. Before, after before after so it just makes it look crisper and definitely more appealing and it just makes it like perfection so as you can see we completely turned out this image and I love it so much more after going in and doing a few little tweaks which I think some photos need and some photos don't when it's a high resolution image like this it definitely needs some perfecting and Facetune is there for me whenever I need her so I'm gonna save this to the camera roll and I'm gonna include a link for Facetune down in the description for where you can download it and just check out more information information on it because I really do recommend it if you're into Instagram. Afterlight, which is the one that looks like this. And honestly,
honestly, I love, love, love this app. So this is a photo that I took recently, and just to use it for an example, this is what you can do on Afterlight. So all Instagram pictures are a square like this. This is already a square, it's already perfect. This is my good friend Lindsay, and my new friend Lauren, who I adore. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop them out. Bye Lauren, bye Lindsay, love you. So now it's just a photo of me. A lot of the time on Instagram, if you don't know, you see the white bars on the sides or the white bars on the top. And what you do is you go over here, then you go here and then you click the bars and then it'll instantly take all the extra space needed to create a square and put it there. So I mean, obviously this isn't a very attractive Instagram photo because it's like so narrow and I don't think that that looks visually appealing, but if you do, that's all you boo. But what else you can do is you can drag this bar back and it will kind of drift into the square so you can kind of play with it and see what you want, but we are just going to forget it. Another thing you can do on Afterlight is change the exposure, the brightness, there's kind of like a clarify thing, which I think just makes people look uglier because it brings out all of your like flaws and it's like not cute unless you're like a muscle man trying to look more ripped this feature is not going to be flattering but my favorite thing to do in my photos is turn up that saturation it makes your tan look better it makes your hair look blonder like this is the photo without any saturation and then this is it kind of enhanced i think it looks so cute well that's a little bit too much but i'm just giving you an example no 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 bella no can we play later baby Oh my goodness, I feel so bad. There are some lens flares you can add, but I think that that just looks tacky. Like, do you see that? Like, obviously that looks fake and like crazy. I mean, I used to do it when it first came out because I thought that it was cool, but now it's like, I just, I just don't do it. But if you want to add like a lens flare, if you're taking like a landscape shot or something, that would be really pretty. And there are also some pre-programmed filters that you can use, but I don't really use any of those either. Next is a really simple one that I get asked all the time. People are like, how do you make those collages? Or sometimes I'll do like split screen like this and put the same photo, but just flip it. And everyone always asks me, oh my God, what app is that? I'm like, it's just pick frame. So just to give you an example, and what you can do is you can flip it and then you can kind of just like play with it, whatever. And what I like to do on this app a lot is go to style and then turn the border down so there's absolutely no border. I think that it makes it look a little bit more appealing. So that's a cute way to turn narrow photos into squares without having to put the bars on the sides. And the last one I want to share is Fonto. So I'm going to use the same photo that we edited just now on Facetune. And basically what this app is good for is you can add text or emojis over any single photo, which I think is so, so cute. You can adjust the size, you can adjust the tilt of it. You can add on any emoji you want and I think that it's super cute. And whenever I upload a new video, people always ask me, how do I put emojis on photos because I upload an Instagram photo with that? And this is the app that I use. Super easy, super fun, and it decorates any plain photo. So that was all the apps that I use to edit my Instagram photos. Afterlight, PicFrame, Facetune, and Fonto. I hope you guys enjoy, and I hope this video was helpful. And until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous. Mwah.